what's going on everybody welcome back to another tesla video in this one i have a package i'm going to show a picture on the screen now you can actually see it is addressed to mother Frunker. so i'm going to open it up so you guys can see what is inside So this is the base nor door seal kit. Uh, it is actually the Amazon choice. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna see what's, uh, how it is. We're gonna do some tests before and after to see if it makes a difference. So this is supposed to uh, reduce the cabin noise. So it gives you an instruction sheet. Uh, they give you a bunch of these. B pillar, A pillar, right front door, left front door, left rear door, and right rear door. All right, so we are driving and I have an app here. It might not be the most accurate comparison to an actual decimal reader, but if I do a before and after comparison using the same route, uh, using this same app, should get a pretty good idea if it works or not beyond the uh, you know, just what I think. So I tried doing it in the middle, uh, of the car as well as like right up against the glass up here. So you can hear the difference between the wind noises uh, coming out through the window as well as the wind noises in the center. So we're going to do the install and then we're going to come back and try the same exact test. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is clean uh, where you're going to install the seals. So you can see here I got a cloth. I'm going to clean it all the way around. Uh, if you want to have liquid or whatever, uh, soap, water to clean it off. My uh, door is actually pretty clean. I just cleaned the car recently just before doing this video, uh, but you want to make sure it is clean. we will give you these primer cloths. So you can take the primer cloth and you go all the way around like so. Just to give it one last uh, good wipe and to help it uh, stick down. When you start sticking it, you want to stick it in the corner so you know you have enough to make it all the way across that way and all the way across going up. So it just kind of makes the most sense to start in the corner. Uh, it just peels off like this and it is very, very adhesive. It's very, very sticky uh, when going down. So I'll do a quick time lapse of it uh, being installed, this, port, this portion, and then we'll move on to the next panel. Right, so a couple of things I want to point out, it is easier if you go into do it in small sections when you're installing. So you're actually taking off uh, the red tape in small sections. Uh, something also important to note that the company said that this is made to fit. And it does fit, don't get me wrong, but you do have to get a knife of some sort to cut off a piece like I just did here. Uh, just so... Uh, you don't have leftover pieces just sticking out of your door. <laughs> your door obviously won't close. So out of the whole entire install for this, this piece here, it's the inside of the front door, uh, is the most difficult. For this, honestly, it might be easier to have two people. So one sits on the front side of the door and the other one kind of sits on the back. And you'll see in just a sec uh, when we're running the rubber band through the back here. But if you put the red tape that you're peeling off, to the back of the door, you can have someone on the other side kind of like pull it down as you're going and then the person on in the front will just like guide it and stick it down. So uh, two people is actually easier to install this piece, believe it or not, one on either side of the door. Uh, that is just from my experience installing uh, the other side so far. Uh, I want to point out something real quick before we get to the results, whether this works well or not. Uh, this video was actually sponsored, so this was given to me and I thought it in it would be important to point that out, uh, but I will give you my fair, uh, honest opinion at the end of this video once the install is complete. So once again, let's go to a time lapse of this piece getting installed. All 
All right, so like usual, the same process. You want to start by uh, wiping. And then you go and peel it, and then you stick it. So this is the side pillar now that we're doing. And once again, you kind of want to do this in small sections. It just makes things a lot easier to do. There is uh, no real reason for a time lapse on this one because it's just a small piece and it is really quick. But again, you'll see here, it extends way farther down than what you actually need. So like the other portions of this, you kind of have to cut it. So there is a noticeable difference in terms of sound already when closing it. So here's the front one with it on. It's pretty soft in comparison to the back one. clunky so it's already noticeable there we'll see how it compares when driving okay so before i start installing the back piece you'll see that the top is finished more rounded and this one's unfinished so i would imagine uh you put this piece up here and you start here because it looks nice and then the other end of it uh you do it from the other side because if it's too long you end up cutting it anyway so that's just what i've been going with so let's get these last back piece installed with a nice time lapse once again. Uh, not like a massive noticeable difference, but I'll tell you this the door does close much nicer uh, It's like a smoother close uh, the door looks nicer. It looks more finished and it takes out dust dirt and things like that I've heard other reviews and things like that where it keeps out that kind of stuff. So overall it is not a bad product uh, in terms of sound though for its main purpose I just don't know if it is uh, as noticeable as you'd think, like you're just kind of sitting here, it's not a massive make it or break it uh, difference for sound. So if, I mean, that's its main purpose, so it's a little bit disappointing that it's not more noticeable, uh, but maybe at lower speeds it's not bad, but I guess there's also less wind, so you keep that all factored in. So I don't know, what do you guys think about this product? Leave a comment down below. Do you guys have a uh, wind reduction product of some sort in your Tesla? let me know. Uh, do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this. Do subscribe for more Tesla content. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.